In life, there are five methods of being locked out. The act of God, the act of a landlord or girlfriend. I thought you had the keys. I thought I had the keys. And psychotically, deliberately, locking yourself out. Fuck. I'm staring at a door. It's the door to my flat. To be honest, I don't really give a fly's tit how I've come to be locked out. The point is that I'm cold. After searching for my forgotten keys, I attempt some keyhole surgery with my credit card. This is not as easy as it looks. Go on, you fucking shitty fucking wanker! Fucker! Fucking bastard! Bastard! Can I help? This is Mary Shrew. I am. I've locked myself out of my flat. You don't know if there's a master key or anything. Plain as dust. But she'd do for a nightcap. Sorry, do you live here? Oh, God, she doesn't remember. Yeah, um, we met uh, last weekend. I was being sick onto a tree. No recognition. I was with a crying woman. Still no flicker. She lives opposite me, for God's sake. Why don't we talk to each other? Can I use your fire escape? You cow. At least let me use your phone. There's a phone on the high road. I suggest you use that. Spectacular. She's one of only two people I've met here. The other is DJ Cattleprod, one of London's hottest new DJs, who just happens to live upstairs from me and just happened to share with me some hydroponic Jamaican skunk the same day I moved in. But she's not in. And when you're waiting for a Sunday locksmith, Every minute feels like 500 seconds. Time goes viscous and gummy. It's as tedious to watch as it is to experience. So... Locksmith, mate. Yeah. Geef. Yeah. I'm Mr. Geef. Right. The love child of Bob Hoskins and Jimmy Corkill. Stares at my lock for a second and says, You're not a quid there, mate. I don't think I am. He stares at me. I stare back at him. I'm not the one with spunk on my shoulder. Why has he got spunk on his shoulder? All right. OK. Suppose we can have a go with this. That's shit. Listen, listen. I called you on the understanding you're a bloody professional. So you better do something pretty bloody impressive with this piece of plastic, or you're not getting any money. As the cocky Lockie tries to negotiate the anti-breaking chicanes in the woodwork, I find myself wondering about the tutting neighbour and what she does in the evening. Could she ever be enticed upstairs for a dirty session with the DJ? What does go on behind that door? What exactly would stop you performing your services for a thief? A thief? I'm long on by that. Which is wrong, because ascending the stairs behind him are two rosers, looking sceptical in an unintelligent way. What exactly are you doing? Is there a problem, sir? Fuck, quick, think! I've, uh, knocked myself out of my flat. Have you verified this gentleman's address? Nope. Thanks, mate. It's just that another resident of this complex has reported a stranger trying to break in. Right. So Gruel Lips opposite won't let me use her phone to call for help. But she will use it to grass me up. I'll make a mental note. She'll be getting 20 pizzas she didn't order at 3 in the morning. But just then... Hey, hey, hey Carl Do you know this man, madam? My knight in shining armour. No, I don't. I hope your decks blow up in your balls. Cattle prod. Officer. Louise! Fuck. But then, just as it goes, the full pair. Who the fuck is that? It's a bird in my shirt and pants. I'd forgotten about her. Sorry, I just got to the door. 
been a bit sick. Probably gone everywhere. Must have been something I ate. Jesus. The big one with the dove on it. Oh no. Tris said it must have been a bit smacky. Shush now. There's one of those split seconds in which three things happen. The Rosers suddenly lose interest. Be more careful. Loco starts to charge me for a call-out fee, even though he's done nothing. Love, mate. I can't be asked for this. Just sort that out. Yeah? And I decide that this is just another girl, all gorgeous and pointless in my pants, who in the end simply will not do. That's when I'm seized by the fifth wave of madness. I reached for the handle and pulled the door shut.